Hello, everyone, and welcome to module number two. The focus of this module is sentiment analysis, which is a key topic in natural language processing. The main goal of sentiment analysis is to be able to categorize or classify the sentiment of some text document, text snippet, or corpus. The basic categorization problem we're faced here with is identifying whether the text is positive, negative, or neutral. Now this sort of classification problem under natural language processing is very popular, which is why we have dedicated an entire module to it. This can be used to analyze large amounts of text data, such as reviews for Amazon or reviews for Yelp, right? reviews for movies, feedback and comments areas for blogs or for marketing tools um, or marketing items, right? uh, in social media, for analysis of Twitter data and more. Right? Uh, and so with this in mind, the challenging nature of sentiment analysis is going to be discussed and some of the different advanced models and methods for sentiment analysis will be covered in this module. As you can see, oops, pardon me. We'll go back really quickly there. And so as we can see here, some of the main goals for this week are that we're going to read and learn about sentiment analysis from a conceptual standpoint, but then you're also going to implement and deploy some sentiment analysis models on AWS services. In order to do this successfully, we're going to be using SageMaker, just as you did in module number one. SageMaker is not only going to provide us for uh, a means to implement Python, but we are also going to be able to access endpoints in AWS services, which allows us to deploy a model that we've either trained or a pre-trained model so that it's available via the web. Right. So this will be our first deployed model within this class. Pretty exciting, I think. Right. Uh, and this will be the focus of assignment number two. In the discussion for this week, you guys will be learning about deception detection and discussing that. This particular problem, another key problem in natural language processing and text analysis, is trying to identify whether a text statement is meant as a lie right, or whether it was truthful. So can you determine or detect whether there is deception at play or not? This is great for example, rooting out reviews that are fake, right, which is sometimes an issue on, on various sites uh, and in other Twitter uh, and other text media forums. For week number three, we can scroll down to the week three overview. You guys have the discussion to complete, conceptual and practical readings and a quiz. Some of the conceptual readings here are just basic introductions to sentiment analysis, and then a deeper investigation into some of the models that are used to tackle this problem. We also have a video tutorial in this module, which is focused on sentiment analysis using the NLTK package in Python. The week three quiz is focused largely on your readings for this week. And the discussion this week is focused on deception detection. Week number four, the big focus on week number four is assignment number two. So for assignment number two, you guys will be logging back into the learner lab to take advantage of our AWS services. Specifically, you're going to be using SageMaker, PyTorch, and BERT to deploy a pre-trained pre BERT model onto an endpoint in AWS Cloud, which performs sentiment analysis. BERT is a really interesting versatile model. Right? This stands for bidirectional encoder representations from transforms. Right? And it has a wide variety of applications for text processing. 
depending on how you train or follow up uh, and extend and sort of transfer this knowledge, you can apply these BERT models to a number of different applications. For our purposes, we're going to be using a pre-trained version uh, of a BERT model called Financial BERT, which was trained on a large financial data set where there are text snippets collected in the financial sector, which were some of them were positive, some of them were negative, and some of them were neutral. And so this model was pre-trained to recognize these snippets so that they can be correctly categorized for sentiment. Right. Just as with assignment number one, assignment number two has a detailed instruction set, which includes screenshots to help you step through the process of implementing and deploying this particular model. As with assignment number one, make sure that you read all the supplemental readings associated with assignment number two, as there are a few. These will give you insights into the different models, details related to PyTorch and Amazon SageMaker that will allow you to complete assignment number two successfully. All right, well, thank you for joining me in this overview of module two. See you in the next module.